Here we want to look at solving an equation that has a fraction. One thing I notice is when they throw the negative out in front of the fraction, it kind of can get mixed up with the fraction bar. Not that you don't know it's there, but when you start writing all your work, it's easy to get lost. So the first thing I like to do is instead of writing it out front like this, to put it on the top. And if there's more terms on the top, distribute them. That way it's harder to forget about. And look at here, my denominator, that's one whole factor, right? It's y minus seven. It's y and seven aren't individual factors because they are not multiplied by each other. So this is all one term, helps to put it in parentheses to see it that way. So if I wanna get rid of a divided by y minus seven, I can multiply both sides of the equation by y minus seven. And so this one too, so multiply both sides of the equation. That's useful because this and this will cancel. And so I can distribute negative two is now multiplied by the whole thing, y minus seven, and the other side is equals negative seven. So I get negative two y plus 14, a negative times a negative, equals negative seven. If you subtract 14 from both sides, so negative two y equals negative 21, and divide both sides by negative two. And so the negatives cancel, y equals 21 over two, and that doesn't reduce as a fraction, so that's a perfectly fine answer. You could also check it by putting it back in the original thing. I know sometimes the check on a fraction could be a little more tedious. Even if you just put it back in the original equation in your calculator, it's still much better than not checking at all.